Thank you for your support. Focus and learn. You can do it and do well for exams. We are here for you, supporting your teacher, professors, TAs, textbooks, others, Department of Education, curriculum standards, and of course, high expectations from you for individual successes. We can succeed only after you succeed. For the figure drawn, make the left hand side the current entering and the right hand side the current leaving. Choose the correct answer. Here is I2, here is I1, and here is I3. With respect to this point, with respect to that point, I2 is entering and I3 and I1 are leaving. If you make the left hand side the current entering and the right hand side the current leaving, what is the correct choice? Let's do a fast review. Kirchhoff's junction rule of charge conservation of charge conservation says that the total current entering a point is equal to the total current leaving the same point. Current is the flow of charges. Current is the flow of charges. The rate at which charges flow across a cross-sectional area. Charges moving perpendicular to surface and that is given by I and that is equal to delta Q over delta T. What is delta Q charge in coulombs? The unit of coulombs is capital C. What is time? Time is in seconds. And what is I? Current in amperes A. The direction of current is the direction in which positive charges are moving. Now in a metallic wire, we know that charge carriers are electrons. And what do electrons do? Electrons move opposite to the current. Here is our point. And for that point, I2 is entering. So on the left, we need I2. And what is current leaving? I1 and I3. So current entering I2, current leaving is I1 plus I3. So what is our answer? Our answer is current entering I2, current leaving is I1 plus I3. So the answer is C.